In our last video, we started our study of X-bar theory, which is a theory that we can use to look at the hierarchical structure of sentences. In this video, we will add one more element to the theory, adjuncts. So let's review a little bit of what we had last time. We had phrases, like prepositional phrases, determiner phrases, and verb phrases. These are prepositions, determiners, or verbs because their head is a preposition, a determiner, or a, or a verb. So, for example, in the phrase with cheese, that phrase has a uh, preposition with, and so the whole structure has to be a prepositional phrase. In the second one, the cheese, it, ha it has a determiner, the, so the whole structure is about a determiner. In likes cheese, that structure has a verb, so the whole structure needs to be about the verb. In addition to the head, these uh, phrases have a complement, which is some information that is necessary for the phrase to make sense. For example, if you just say with, it feels incomplete. The word with demands that you have a complement with the additional information, with cheese. If you just say the, it again feels like the phrase is incomplete. You need the cheese. Like, likewise, if you just say likes, you feel like you need something else. Cheese. All of these are complements of the head. And uh, in technical terms, they are selected by the head. So there's something in the word with that demands that it be accompanied by a noun phrase or a determiner phrase in order for it to make complete meaning. In the case of transitive verbs like likes, they are specified to have a complement, some direct object, which is the thing that someone likes. So we have heads, complements, and phrases. Let's study adjuncts. Adjuncts are optional information that describes a head. If you have a phrase like cold pizza, cold is not really necessary to understand what a pizza is, but it provides additional information about this particular kind of pizza. We're going to call this an adjunct, something that is optional and that gives you more information about the head. We're going to attach adjuncts onto additional X-bar notes. So as you can see, we have the skeleton here with the noun phrase and the head pizza. And we are going to always reserve one note for a potential complement. But we add an additional one for optional information, like the one provided by adjuncts. So as you can see, we have the noun phrase. And then on the first note, the one for adjuncts, we separate, uh, we, uh, sorry, project an adjective phrase, which has a bar adjective and the head of an adjective, cold. So in this first X bar, we have the, uh, the additional optional information, the adjuncts. In the second one, we have uh, an empty head in case we needed to add obligatory information for the complements. And then we have the head pizza. So this would be the structure for the phrase cold pizza with a head, uh, with a phrase, the head of the phrase, and then an adjunct, which is in itself a phrase, with the head of a phrase. So as you can see, this is uh, recursive. It's one phrase inside of a phrase inside of a phrase. Again, the, we have the basic X bar um, structure. It's just we reserve one X bar for adjuncts and we reserve one for complements. We're usually only going to have one complement, but we can have as many X bars for adjuncts as we need because you could have a um, cold, delicious, incredible pizza. So you can have a lot of adjectives lined up and we're gonna have as many X bars for adjuncts as we need to fit all of those adjectives. Um, you can have, so each phrase has specific kinds of adjuncts that it can take. For example, adjectives like cold can take adverbs like very for very cold. So as you can see, we have the adjective phrase which has the adjective head, cold. It has one X bar for a potential comp complement, and then another X bar for the adjunct. So the, we project the adverbial phrase, 
which it, with its own X bar and its own head, very, very cold. So you can see how it's one phrase inside of another phrase. Uh, verbs can also take adjuncts. So for example, if we have the phrase eat with me, the phrase with me is not uh, demanded by the, by the word eat. It is like optional information that you use only to inform what is the kind of eating that you're doing. So with me is an adjunct. And as you can see, we put it in an additional uh, X bar for the adjunct. Out of here, we project a prepositional phrase with its own head with and prepositional phrases need complements. So this one projects the complement me with me. Uh, verbs can take prepositional phrases as adjuncts. They can take adverbial phrases like if you had eat now. That would be an adjunct for an adverb. Here's a summary of possible combinations of complements and adjuncts with the phrases that we have so far. So for example, uh, verb phrases usually take noun phrases as complements, their direct object, like in likes cheese, because this is critical to making sense of the verb. And they can take different types of adjuncts like adverbial phrases like now or prepositional phrases like with me. Um, nouns can take complements. Um, noun phrases like possessors, for example, the book of Rolando. And they can take adjuncts like adju adjective phrases like cold pizza or prepositional phrases like um, a pizza with cheese, which only gives you additional information about the type of pizza you have. So using the information that we have from before and the examples of the trees we have so far, try to draw the trees for these word, uh, phrases. Eat with friends, eat hot pizza, very hot pizza, a very hot pizza, love pizza intensely. A summary of the rules is, a summary of the types of uh, rules that we can use is there on the right. Go for it. Please pause the video. So these are the trees for those phrases. As you can see, eat with friends is very similar to the one that we had eat with me and with friends is an adjunct because it is just additional information about how you're doing the eating. It is not critical to the meaning of eat. Eat hot pizza here has a complement because it's the direct object. Eat hot pizza. But the this component, hot pizza, has an adjunct, the adjective hot, which needs to go in its own little X bar note, additionally to the complement notes. In number three, we have very hot pizza. So here we projected several X bar notes for the adjuncts, one for the adverb, very, one for the adjective, hot, then an X bar for a potential complement, and then the head, pizza. Here we have a very hot pizza, which is exactly the same, except that we also have the determiner phrase a, which needs as its complement the noun that it is determining, a very hot pizza. Notice again that the complement is critical to the meaning of the head. You can't just say a and have it make sense. You need a something. But you could say pizza without saying that it's very hot. It is not critical to the meaning of pizza. Finally, we have a verb phrase here, loved pizza intensely. And here we use all of the X bar notes. You love the direct object, pizza. So this goes in the X bar for the complement. And this X bar here is for an adjunct, which is how you love the pizza, intensely, as an adverb. So adjuncts are phrases that provide additional information about the head. They're usually things like adjectives, adverbs, prepositional phrases. You attach them to additional X bar notes, and you can have as many X bar notes as you need for a big, amazing, incredible, delicious pizza. You might have noticed that in English, um, adjuncts can go to the left or to the right. They don't have a fixed position, whereas compliments usually go to the right of the head.